Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be meeting Eugene. You guys probably saw my video where I went and picked him up, but you guys haven't really gotten an official, like, let's meet Eugene video. So I'm going to see if he wants to come out today. But real quick, I finally got my Extinct Clothing shirt in. I am an ambassador for them. Isn't this shirt so cute? I love it. So I'll put their link in the description below. Basically, their clothing company trying to raise awareness for animals that are severely endangered and could possibly go extinct. And so every purchase you make helps them help these animals. So definitely go and check them out. All right, this is Eugene. He's a very angry chameleon, so you'll probably see him hissing. I got him from a family in Vermont. They got him at the Manchester Expo in New Hampshire back in 2017, and he was about eight months old at the time. So come this May, he'll be three years old. And Vale chameleons typically live for about eight years, so he's about to his halfway point. So I'd say right now he's kind of a grumpy teenager. And dude, you really need to get that hornworm gut off of your face. So as you can see, he's really shedding right now. And he's all like hunched down and sucker down trying to get away from me. But he's actually being really good. Usually when he realizes he's out of his enclosure, he starts hissing and puffing up and just being really angry and trying to run. He's actually being really good right now. So many of you know, chameleons are one of my favorite reptiles, like my favorite reptile. And I wanted one forever, like ever since Tangled came out because, you know, I was one of those kids. But I said I was going to wait until I was done with college because my animals move back and forth with me and I know chameleons don't handle stress very well. So I was waiting until I was done college and that was going to be the first animal that I got. And lo and behold, I finished college and moved home and this family contacts me and they said, hey, we've got this chameleon, we're scared of it and you know, we're not really into chameleons. Would you take him for us? And I was like, yes. So they did do a very good job with him, but of course, you know, whenever you're starting out with a new animal you've never had before, there are things that happen and you learn from them. He did end up burning his cask, so the big horn part of his head, um, he did end up burning that, but they took him to a vet, they got it treated, taken care of, so it did heal over. It just is going to look a little funny. Why are you leaning away from me? Oh, stop. There. You can see how angry he is. So I don't handle him very often or very long, but I do work on handling him so that if I ever need to take him out to clean or for a vet visit or for some other reason, I am able to do so. So I do work on these handling sessions with him. And pretty much the only way I've ever been able to get him out is with hornworms. Hornworms are his favorite food. Yeah. So he has warmed up so much since I first got him. He was like... If you even looked at him, oh, I'm sorry. If you even looked at him, he would hiss and freak out. So he has come a very, very long way. He'll still kind of run and hide if you come into the room, and just if you come into the room, but he's doing much better. So like I said, this family was scared of him. Um, you know, they knew, oh, stop it. They knew that chameleons, you know, you don't wanna handle them too often, so they didn't, but then he got to the point of being angry because you know, a lot of build chameleons can get kind of angry. And once he started hissing and doing what he's been doing for this video, um, they became scared of him and understandably so, I'm sorry. He doesn't like me talking with my hand. I like to talk with my hand. I'll put it behind my back. So in about the three years that they had him, he wasn't really handled. They handled him when they first got him. And then once he started acting up, they stopped handling him. And it was pretty much just show up, open the door, throw food in, and leave. Because he would hiss, he'd get angry, he'd try to bite them. So understandably, it wasn't working out for them. And they got more into geckos. And so this chameleon was just sitting in their home. And they're like, you know, we're really not loving it like someone else could be. And so when I was posting in this Facebook group I was for the area that I was going to, because I had to go pick up feeders, I was just wondering, like, hey, you know, anyone rehoming animals, yada yada, just curious to see what there is. And they saw that, and so this lady, very responsible, she contacted the admins and said, I want to rehome to this girl. Can you, like, help me through the process, make sure that she's not sketchy and that she does look like a good fit? 
So actually the admins for that group creeped my Facebook and then other admins from other groups that those admins were in contact with creeped my Facebook. So they all came down to the conclusion that I was legit. I wasn't just some sketchy random person looking to hoard or flip animals. So that's sorry, I looked at him. So I, she ended up contacting me and asking me to take it. And completely free, she gave me his, was it a large, extra large Reptibreeze cage, plus a brand new Miss King system in the box and everything that he came with. And I tried to give her a rehoming fee, or I tried to give her money for the rehoming. And I like what she had to say. She said, I'm not a breeder, so I'm not trying to make a profit off of him. I am someone who bought him and can't provide for him the way that he should be provided for. So my only objective is to find him a good home that will care for him. I'm not trying to make money off of him. And she refused to take any money. She said, if I'm rehoming, I don't deserve the money. The animal just deserves a good place to live. So I thought that was really great. But she gave me a brand new UBB, told me exactly when it needed to be changed. Like she did pretty well with him. I'm sorry, I'm moving my hand again. But also for her, he was going on these food strikes. So when I got him, he had actually been on a month long food strike and she just thrown whatever hornworm she had left in the bin that she gave him to me in. And literally we got in the car, drove away and he ate all the hornworms. So food strike ended the minute he got in my car, but, and he's been a great eater for me ever since, hasn't stopped eating. So I don't really know what his deal was. Cause I mean, he had great care. I don't know if he was just so angry that he didn't want to eat the food that they were giving him, but I've had no problems with him. He's eaten since the moment we got him home. But now you guys know that I've been wanting to name a chameleon Pascal my whole life. But with his attitude, he wasn't quite fitting of the name Pascal, but keeping with the Tangled theme, we went with Eugene. So I decided, you know, he's grumpy, but I love him. And he has not deterred me from chameleons whatsoever. I still plan on getting more in the future. So there'll just be a Pascal in the future. But for now, we've got grumpy little Eugene here. And Eugene is quite fitting for a grumpy boy. All right, so now I'll show you his enclosure like I do for all my animals. When I do their meeting videos, I show you them, talk about them and show you their enclosure. So his is kind of a hot mess right now because he's destroyed it and I need to kind of clean it up and put it back together, but I'll show it to you anyway. Here's Eugene's enclosure. You guys saw it in his enclosure remodeling video. But since then I've added these bamboo bars across the top so he'd have some kind of horizontal perches under his lights. I also added pathos that hang from this thing right here just for more front coverage. Oh, oh, he's going, okay. Let's go in. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. Oh, stop. You. Stop it. Hey. Go in the enclosure. Alright, so he couldn't get away from me fast enough. He's sick of me. There he goes. Goodbye. Yeah, so he's done with me. But anyway. I hung pathos from here, so he'd have something in the front, but he keeps tearing them all out. So I have to put more water in and put them all back in, because they're all just dangling now and yeah. So usually he hides right back here or way back there. Those are like his two hiding places for when I'm in the room, but when I'm not in the room, he'll sit right up here, he'll sit right here. Oh, look, he's giving me the stink eye. You giving me the stink eye? Yeah, so that is his enclosure. It is dying, and I'm so upset about it. The greens look good, this part does not. Can't forget his lovely sign from the lovely Haley from Haley's Custom Designs. She had a sign like this for a panther chameleon, I think. And I really wanted one for Eugene, but obviously he's a veiled chameleon. So I asked her if she could make me one for a veiled chameleon, and she said yes. And I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Reward him for putting up with me. We'll see if he eats it or he thinks I'm going to trick him. Hey, buddy. Look. No, come back. Look what I got for you. Do you want it?
There you go. Gross. So thank you everyone for watching my video, meeting my chameleon. Um, I'm glad he was decently well behaved for you guys. I mean, that was the most behaved he's ever been for me being out. So I guess now would be the time to do it. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss any more videos and we'll see you next time. Oh, stop it. Are you mad if I turn you? Oh, stop. Oh, stop it.